Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a pretty cool topic I want to talk about. I will be having to talk pretty quietly because I think my family's asleep. Goddamn slackers, they're sleeping all day. Bro, it's 8pm, they're still, not 8pm, 8am, they're still sleeping. But anyway, so I do have to talk quietly. Then bring the mic closer so you should still be able to hear me. Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. I don't want to babble too much. I'm really working on that. I know I talk too much in my videos, so we're going to fix that. Anyways, I want to talk about PvP and... Uh, just in general PvP, I find that it's so expensive and the barrier to entry is so high. And I want to kind of present my case, see if you guys agree with me. This video will be under 8 minutes. I promise you. It shouldn't be too long. I, I said that before and I made a 30 minute video. This one should only be like 8 minutes. Uh, so I, I think PvP is too expensive. And why am I thinking this? Well, I, I want to PvP. You guys... For those of you who've been following the channel for a while, recently I've been doing only PvM, but before that you would know that I'm like at heart a PvP, PvP player. Mostly rogue, uh, but also like other classes. And uh, I've said this a few times, but my goal in game is to have all the classes and have enough commas that I can buy whatever gear I want. That way I can make you guys any sort of PvP videos with any classes I want, like any sort of combinations, just do fun shit. But to get to that point is pretty difficult, which is why I'm doing PvM as much as I can just to like make commas here and there. So recently I've been like, fuck it, and I just want to PvP. And uh, so I started buying PvP gear, and I very, not PvP gear, not even, not even. So I started trying to get ready for PvP, and I very, very quickly just ran out of commas. Even though I've been grinding PvM for a while, I had like 300, 400 million commas cash after selling some of my gear. It wasn't enough. Why is it not enough? Lit like, I'll show you guys. And this is basically what I'm talking about with PvP being too uh, expensive. Like, what are the basics that you would need for pvp i probably should have prepared prepared a dofus book actually yeah let me open up a dofus book and let's take a look at that okay let's take a look here this is a standard like not really a cookie cutter set or anything but it's a king player rhinetal set that i've been wanting to get for my rogue and i have most of the pieces i have most of them maged but for example this is just a standard set that is good for PvP, and there are some things that if you want to PvP, you can't get rid of. Uh, and now you could say, hey, I could just play without them. But then you are limiting yourself, not by your skill, but by your gear. And I think that's a horrible feeling. Like, if you're PvPing and you lose a fight and you you know full well that it's not because of anything you could have done or whatever, but more so just because you don't have the commas for the right gear. For example, if you have a fight, if you go in a 3v3 fight without a pre-tech, you're instantly going to be focused because you're just a thousand, you're so much less tanky, right? Your pre-tech over the first three turns gives you like 3,000 shields, let's say. So by default, you don't have this pre-tech, you're 3,000 uh, shields, let's say HP, you're like, you know, it, it would take 3,000 extra damage to uh, to drop you. Well, how much does that pre-tech cost? Let's take a look. Pretty sure it's like 60 mil last I checked. Uh, yeah, not even for sale, but like if you look at the recipe, boom, takes 30 of these, and then this and that. So it's around 60 mil. Now you could get one of these or whatever, but still, that's still like 40 mil, right? Uh, and then take a look at the doses, and that's the biggest thing. It's that dofus lineup. <laughs> that dofus lineup because they're super expensive uh, pieces, and a lot of them are uh, indispensable. You really can't get rid of them. Uh, Abyssal Dofus, if you play without Abyssal Dofus, you're literally just giving up on a free AP or MP. You should always have Abyssal Dofus in PV, uh, PvP. That's a given. That's 15 mil. Ivory Dofus, you definitely want that. That's 40 mil. Uh, now, Ochre. Uh, for this set also doesn't have Vulbus, but a lot of sets do. So, Ochre, Vulbus. Ochre is 50 mil. Vulbus is 60. So, we bust out the calculator. What are we at now? Just We're just talking doses. The pre-tech is 60. Vulbus is 60. The ochre is 50. I did my I did minus, right? Shit, yeah. Plus, uh, ivory is 40. Abyssal is like 15. So just, just with those, we're already at 225. And how many was that? Like, that's just, that was like five, right? Yeah, that was five. So there should still be another slot. Like, for example, you take a, anything like crimson. Ice dofus is pretty expensive, but let's say, whatever. Let's say you just went with crimson. So that's like another 5 mil. So just in terms of your trophy slots, that's 230. Now there's other uh, there's other doses you might want. You might want a sparkling silver. That's like around 20, I think. I haven't really checked the prices. If you want a dolmen axe, that's 15. And now you could say that, hey, you could just quest it. But I, 
I don't think that's really the point because uh, if you quest something, sure, you get it for free, but not really because the price of something is a reflection of the complexity of the quest, right? Like how difficult the quest is just directly reflects on the price and what that should mean, or you know, that, what that should mean in practice is that whatever cost the item has, uh, the dose has, is the amount of commas you should be making, you should be able to make approximately with the time investment that the quest requires. I hope that sentence makes sense, but that's just how I think of it, right? Like if all this stuff is 60 mil, yeah, because you have to grind dungeons, dreams, all that stuff. If you were to put that effort into somewhere else, you should be able to make that 60 mil in theory and then just buy the Vulbus. So the price of the Vulbus is proportional to its complexity. I'll, that's my explanation. So yeah, but that's just, that's just 230. And then let's say you want a few other doses, uh, Ice or Dominax. Let's just be generous and say 20 to get a 250. That's the round number. <laughs> Next, you need Exos. Two exos, AP and MP. If you want to get good exos, it's going to be about 25 mil each. So we can say another 50. You're already at 300. And you haven't even looked into, you haven't even, you've only filled up your trophy slot and bought your exos. And this is only to build one set. Next, let's talk your pet. Your pet is going to be expensive. Uh, let's say this scrap that I want, that's like 15 mil. Uh, that's 15 million commas. It's not cheap. You want a stalag that's well maged. That's another 5 mil. Uh, you want this stuff, you want it to be well made. Well, actually, I got the range X on this. I got lucky. But um, like, let's say you don't want a range X, so you just want whatever. Like This stuff is pretty expensive. Now, I, I don't need to go over the price of each, each individual piece, but you can see how the price goes up really quick. And the issue becomes, like, what if you want different sets? Uh, because if you only play the same set, people will start to know you by that set, and then they can just stack resistance against you. For example, or sometimes sets don't apply to particular situations, especially in team team situations. Whereas uh, in one v one, you can just say fuck it, like I'll always play int and see how that goes. In team, like you might want a chance set because chance. I'm thinking rogue, right? Like as a rogue, I'll want a chance set, so I can't only play int. I need to get a chance set. What does that mean? Now I already have my doses, but now I need another two exos. Now I need another bunch of gear, and I need it mage, and I need another pet. And it's super expensive. And you know, what if I want to build a melee set with a Krokober? What's a Krokober worth? Bro, I can't spell, bro. Krokober. What the fuck? There we go. It's because my mic's in front of me, so I'm using one hand to type and it's driving me crazy. Uh, okay, so yeah, no one would buy this one, first of all, because it's trans with crit damage on a Krokober. I don't understand. Uh, this one, okay, just whatever. So let's just say 110. You want to buy a Krokobra, that's literally 110 mil. And some of these items are kind of also requirements if you're doing high level PvP, which is what I want to do. What if I want a Jahash cape? Like, now I obviously, I am being nitpicky in the sense that I'm pointing to the most expensive things, but these are all things that I would want if I want a PvP at a high, high level where I'm not limited by my gear. These are all things that I'm going to need. I'm going to need a Krokobra, I'm going to need a Jahash cape. And look at that, like Jahash Cape is 240, plus what we just did. This is just my trophy slots and a few things, and then throw a Jahash on top of that, that's 240, throw the Krokobra, that's 110. Like, now you can understand why I say Road to a Billion Comets. Like, there's no way I'm PvPing freely without a Billion Comets, and it's driving me crazy because I'm putting all this effort, and it's like you 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 build a pretty decent amount of Comets, or what you would think is a decent amount of Comets, and that's what I thought. And then I was like, all right, cool. I'm ready to sell my gear and do some PvP. And I got like 400 mil. I just ran out. Like by, by the time I finished buying my doses, I had like 80 mil left. And I was like, fuck it. Got to sell everything again. Geared PvM again. And now I'm doing PvM again. It's just super frustrating. Anyways, that's mostly what I want to bring up. I don't know what you guys think. Kind of a chatty video. But um, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I read all the comments. Thank you for watching, as always, and sorry if I was talking too quietly. I hope you guys were able to hear me. Uh, appreciate you being here. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.